Right, ladies and gentlemen, we move on once again with professional K1 over three in the lines of action. Would you welcome first into the red corner, representing the Daniel Sam fight team, Renato Santos. Turn with professional K1 over three three minute rounds of action. Renardo Santos from the Daniel Sam fight team against Dominic Matouche from the Pern gym. Matouche in the white shorts, his opponent Santos in the black. Daniel Sam crew in the building tonight and they will be facing off a very tricky customer from the Pern gym. So one of a potential three, three minutes, remember, for professional K1. You can see already the hop on tap for Matush. That lead leg, noticeably light and sprung. And the other thing you notice immediately is the speed and flexibility of these two men, Chris. Love it, love this weight class, and more importantly, the rule set. Look at that, what an exchange. And there was such economy there. No wasted movement, no tell, no telegraphing. Yes, yeah, superb and switching is Santos and they clinch up for the first time and the knee and then they will be separated immediately. And the way they go again. Both men in excellent condition. Simultaneous kicking game kind of going on right now, which is interesting really. Well, there's, there's no one really getting a sense here. And when you look at the two, Matush, and you look at the, the width of his back, looks the taller, stronger, bigger man at the weight, but there's no intimidation factor there with Santos. Look at the way that Santos goes upstairs. I mean, that was just sensational. Again, a kick catch, shuttles it around. Superb lateral movement to get out of trouble again. And this one delicately balanced, Chris, in this opening round. Both that, um, and jumping knee there got the crowd going from the douche. Both men earning applause thus far with merit and certainly quite a bit of height behind this one. So look at the exchange there, but it's the low blow. Again, an offsides play. Santos noticeably affected as every man in the audience feels his pain yes it's it's a, a shame there because the the rhythm was really building nicely there was a, an ebb and flow that was working really well for this bat and of course this has interrupted it rightly so and he's saying yes i'm okay but the mobility of both men and the movement is very impressive in this opening round Look at the front leg dexterity, though, of Santos. Well, let's, let's contrast that with what seems to be the power when Matouche finally lands his kicks, Chris. Again, it's another balance, it's another check, it's another thing to look at when you look at the skill sets and everything else. You, you, you mentioned quite rightly the superb balance of Santos, and then you've got the power in the kicking of Matouche. And the redirection of Santos, which allows him a lot of options there. I mean, even threw a front leg hook kick a moment ago, so. Touch of gloves, oh, <laughs> no. Santos says no, bit of spice added to this one now, Chris. Santos, again, poised, you feel, you can sort of see him chambered to throw something there. 
This is mind games with Matouche as well. Matouche with a late shot there. He's going to get a warning from the ref for that. Yes, he's being warned. He's just saying, listen to me. It was straight after the bell, but Chris, for me, the, one of the most intriguing rounds of the night so far. Both men were, were very fast, both very agile, but you felt that Santos liked the movement, liked the clean shots, where Matouche looked like a caged animal to me. You really felt there was raw power there, and it's a, it's a delicate balance. And I love the way that his opponent, Santos, almost floats there in the pocket with that leg up, ready to rock. Whether he's going to use the push kick, whether he's going to attack the inside leg, or even that front leg hook kick that we saw. I mean, that was just out of nowhere. So, really mesmerizing stuff and possibly one of the best style matchups we've seen tonight. And that's saying something. That's right, Chris. I still think there's plenty more to come. And you feel that Matouche really wants to unload his right round kick, which we saw very early in the round, could be a real danger if he manages to unload it. We'll see how that goes down. Don't go anywhere. Two or three coming up. And as you said, Chris, stylistically, this is superb, this one. Look at the way he goes upstairs on that. That is just picture-perfect technique. As a sign of hours of practice. Spinning hook kick there. And as he spun, Matouche threw the knee and then kicked, and it looks like another groin shot, which is unfortunate. It happens, obviously, in K1 because of the target areas that are allowed. But again, it was very unfortunate, but it shows the way that Matouche is willing to react so immediately now when Renato Santos initiates. Santos being given opportunity to recover here. That's also an opportunity for Matouche to get a breather. I mean, he was really throwing a lot into some of those strikes. A nod, though, now from Santos, and we are back underway. Yes, and both men throwing jabs. And you can see what I mean, Chris, about the raw power of Matouche. He really plants when he kicks there. Excellent exchanges from both men, though. And I love the speed of Santos. He's got some good counters to the power of Matush. And more importantly, I think volume. But Matush is starting to bully him here. And this is where they'll be split and go again. And as I said, I, I'd like to see Matush really unload with those legs and maybe a bigger bit of variety and chop them down. Because when you've got such a mobile customer as Renato Santos, I would be saying in his corner, chop at that thigh with that power you've got. Look at the counter there from Santos. I mean, that was timing in inches. His ability to see that one coming was just another impressive facet of his game. Nice boxing from Matouche, though, and they tie up. And he's got to get in now, the referee, with the second knee coming in. Matouche looking to time the low kick. Santos fleeting for distance. And Matush, as you said, looking to unload at every opportunity now. And aggression will mark heavily here in this K1 framework. And the aggression of Matush is really coming to the fore here in the second. That was a nice block, though, from Santos. Now, Chris, as we've noticed, everything from Matush at a kicking point of view has been right to the midsection of Santos. And I'd like to see him vary it a bit. And I said, chop those low kicks. Santos is so mobile. Work at what's giving him that mobility. Take that away from him. Big overhand right there from Matush. Santos those circles away. Well, that's that mobility we talked of, and there's ways that Matush can work on that. Not much time left, just a few seconds. Matush presses forward. Santos looking for that teep to the face again. He landed that one earlier in the round. Man. There's the power of Matushi just threw him. It won't score within the K1 framework here, but it just breaks the rhythm once again of Renato Santos. And a stiff right hand as Santos switched back to that southpaw stance, looked to push the side kick out as a defensive measure, and Matush rode right over that, Chris. And another series of stylistic exchanges, as well as some good highlights from both men. I mean, that push kick, Will spin back up against the ropes. 
Santos looked outstanding at a couple of moments there, but Matush also poured on the intensity. The intensity with Matush came from the punches and the fact that he stayed in the pocket and wanted to consistently work his man. The one problem I've got with Matush is he's seen the mobility of Santos. Matush kicks like a donkey. Start targeting the thighs of a mobile man. All his kicks have been at the same midsection. Now, if they land in that solar plexus, I've got no complaints. If they land there, they're going to do damage. But he's against a mobile, very good defensive man. Let's chop at those legs. Let's see that start to slow him down. He hasn't so far, and that's helped Santos negate the raw power of his opponent. Well, a possible opportunity here for Matush, and certainly a stellar chance for his opponent Santos to show off some more of that snazzy technique. We roll on here tonight, live from London. Third and final round now, and again, it's 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 the strength of Matush against the mobility and the technique of Santos. Santos with the probing jab. Matush showing a low kick, but he's trying to show some full body feints as well, and that's going to get Santos to try and respond. But it's interesting to see Santos actually cover up there. He didn't buy that. No, the knee from Matush was shrugged off by Santos. Mind games here from the, the more slightly built man. But again, I'm glad to see that Matush is finally targeting the legs of his opponent. And then, oh, coming in, took a cheap there. And again, the mobility of Santos kept him away. The stutter step from Matush to make that entry was cool as well. He stepped up his game as the fight has progressed here but against a very difficult man to fight because the thing with Santos, he's proved so elusive, so hard to actually catch cleanly. He's also somewhat awkward as well, the way that he moves and sets up his combinations. And when his timing and speed are so on point. Now he had to tuck up there because of a strong right hand from Matush. And I feel Matush, you mentioned the term bullying before, it's actually beginning to work for him here in the third. He stuck to his task against a very difficult opponent and really pushed in hard, like he has now. And then when they're getting these exchanges here, Matush really tries to throw him about as well. And it may have been a case where he dropped the first round, but you know, you keep on the intensity and your opponent can only go to the wall so many times. And there you go, as you said that, the left and the right hand, and then the big knee. So, this is intriguing, Chris, how the judges are going to see this, because you can make an argument for the star set and skill set of both men. But I just feel here, especially in the third, Matouche has really forced the issue. And he's showing them, he's saying, look how powerful man, look, I'm constantly coming forward. That right hand was a treat and the knee on top, and suddenly Matouche knows that Santos is in all sorts of trouble here. And he is mauling his opponent. Just a few seconds to go, and he's going to get a count. This is huge. This is vital in this bout now. Absolutely vital. And it was that huge right hand right through the channel. But it's the tactics in this third round from Matouche. He stayed in the pocket, he pushed forward, and he constantly worked at it. And here he goes again, and that big knee, and then the hands over the top. And that right hand has landed again into the midsection of Santos. And Daniel-san had the towel there just for a second. And again, Matouche forging forward, throwing heavy shots. The towel's in, it's all over. And there's no need for the judges now. Matouche pushed and pushed and pushed and finally got the result that he wanted, Chris. But what about, what an intriguing contest. in the ring, but we do have your winner by way of all of his rules.